Okay, time for those Libras. My balance, lovey babies. Ooh, page of wands. So for Libras, in order to really seek yourself, you need to have an interaction with your masculine side. And you need to recognize that like, you know, the part of you that is loving and wants to absorb the other and experience the other in totality and form relationship with the other, that is the, the open, the, the receptive, the female aspect of you. The page represents that primary feminine energy, right? And what we see in this card is the page, the feminine aspect, interfacing with this wand as if it's the love of her life. And again, the pages are represented by a masculine figure. However, it is a very young masculine figure, which back in like medieval times, young boys could be seen as feminine also because you hadn't yet had your, your voice hadn't dropped, maybe your balls hadn't dropped, maybe, you know, um, your features hadn't fully developed into the strong like jaw lines that men have, etc., but that's just an interesting concept because Libra is the sign of relationship and Libra wants to join with the other. And what this card is basically showing you is that the way to pursue yourself is to recognize that the ultimate lover relationship has to start internally where you are the open, curious vessel ready to discover yourself and ready to interface with everything that you could want, desire, be inspired to do, could have the action to move towards, could have, you know, the ideas about, you know, to interface with every kind of initiatory masculine aspect of yourself and to recognize this energy is what allows me to have everything that I want in life because it's the thing that moves. It's the thing that goes out. It's the thing that pursues. It's the thing that gets me things done. And even though like I understand what I understand about myself and yes, it's not fully developed. If I look to the part of me that can act with power and act with fervor and fire and act with, you know, dedication in a direction of my choosing. And I look at that process and I look at the thing that instigates all of that with wonder and with love. And I fall into a relationship with that. It doesn't matter that everything is a mystery to me at this point. It doesn't matter that I don't know how things will unfold. It doesn't matter that I don't know exactly what it looks like to have my cup overflowing and filled up. But maybe through through my relationship to the masculine and feminine aspects of myself, I can sink into the true mystery that comes with a great romance where it's like, I don't know how long this will last and I don't know everything that you think and you feel, but you are showing me that you care by putting energy and action into me and I'm learning from you and being guided by the actions that you take. And this to me is, is describing of this ultimate lover relationship, but it's also this thing that happens when we truly interface with our masculine and feminine sides. And Libras, if you guys really want to fill your cup to overflowing so that you can fully bring in positive relationships on the outside, you really have to to fall in love, become enraptured and impassioned by your own will, your own desires in this life, your own directive to move. If you can't be instigated by that, if you can't be, you know, fired up by that, anything that you find attractive in the other is really just distraction. It's really just a fugazi flame that's trying to teach you how to love yourself in a full capacity so that, you know, the actualization of loving yourself leads you to being able to transform and take action in the world that, that, that fully fulfills you to the point where, again, you're overflowing and you can give to relationships not because you're trying to get, because you've always already gifted yourself the attention, the admiration, the love, the encouragement, the instigation, the, the interest. All of those things are vital to gift to ourselves before we can really start ushering that in from the outside, from people who truly will, will stay in our lives and will continue to be a source 
of, of love and fulfillment for us. You know, we have to create these fulfilling relationships internally before we can fully attract it and accept it. I'm not saying you can't get a positive, beautiful, fulfilling relationship before you've learned how to love yourself, but I do think you will have blockages towards accepting the fullness of that love and fully grasping how that person feels towards you. So it's very vital to do this, this work internally. For me, as a Libra Mercury... Um, to really interface with my passion is to really continue to dive deeply into the ideas that inspire me to speak up and inspire me to express myself, especially in a balanced way where I'm showing both sides of the coin and trying to find an integrative path that works for who I am on a feminine, on a feminine level and a masculine level, where I'm utilizing both sides of who I am and recognizing that the passion that's stirred up from what I am understand and what I hold as knowledge, that's feminine side, and what I'm inspired to act in honor of, like what keeps bugging me to create in terms of like uh, spoken word content and, um, you know, videos and all that kind of stuff for me, that's where it's all leaning me towards. It's like, find the thing that feels like it's a, it's a balanced union already. Find the areas in which you already feel in love with what you know and you feel inspired to act and start communicating that out. You know, that's going to be the most, that's how you pursue yourself in a deeper way in the realms of communication. And again, I'm just relating it to these placements in my chart so you guys can think or brainstorm or get an inspiration on how you can apply it to your own. 